All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're back on this uh, topic of analyzing new versus repeat uh, customer purchase data. And what we have here is we have new buyer and repeat buyer revenue broken down within a column. And a, a single case statement generally gives you um, new entries in the same column for each case outcome. Now, what if I just wanted a column for uh, new buyer revenue and a column for existing buyer revenue? Um, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to comment it out with Command K, and we're going to go down here, and we're going to refactor a little bit. So we're going to use two case statements. Um, it's kind of a strange pattern when you see it at first, but it makes a lot of sense. We're going to do two sums. Uh, we're going to do a sum and we're going to take a case when the, um, the row number uh, equals one, then we're going to say uh, sum the amount, else uh, sum zero, um, end, I think. I may screw this up a little bit, it's okay. And um, not equal, I think that's, a, that's not equal to one. Uh, we're gonna call this as um, new buyer revenues. Whoops, uh, make sure you have a comma. And we're gonna say this as uh, repeat buyer revenues. And let's just see what happens, probably won't work. We're grouping by one and two, but we really only have one groupable thing, which is a date. So let's um, let's see what happens here. All right, that looks good. I just want to make it look like money, just because we're talking money. Bada bing, bada boom. So now instead of that kind of breakdown within the single column, we actually have uh, a more readily available uh, column representation of each state that the some of the orders could be in. And uh, this could be interesting because if you wanted to look at the percentage of revenue um, uh, for all customers, uh, you know, percentage of, of repeat revenue versus all revenue, you could start to, to do that. And let's actually do that. Um, but let me go back to this idea of the case statement first. Um, just the case when uh, the row number is one, then you're going to return the amount or else you return zero. If it's sum zero, it's just going to sum zero. Um, so when it's not equal to one, uh, it's going to sum the amount else zero. So it might not make sense at first, but usually it's kind of like when you want a case statement, but you don't want it to be all in the same row and create new rows for every existing level of detail, where the level of detail is kind of like saying what is unique to each row. This is kind of a cool pattern. And uh, let's say we wanted to look at, um, we just wanted to get the sum actually. Well, you know, we could do, uh, maybe we can try this, sum, T dot amount over that may not work. Um, let's just do some T dot amount. Well, let's let's you know let's use what we already know works, right? It doesn't have to be pretty. Um, it just has to work, and that's uh, how things are a lot of the time in SQL, especially for analytics, you just need to get it to work. Um, so let's see how this happens. Um, there we go. Uh, so we just basically did where the row number is greater than zero, uh, give me the sum and uh, you know, let's say, yeah. So, so now if, if you wanted to start doing operations around what percentage of revenue uh, was from repeat buyers, you could start doing that. It might start throwing some uh, operational errors at me. I'll give it a shot though. Let's um, let's keep doing some outer selects here. Let's actually just do one here and see what happens. It may not like it. It may like it. Let's see. 
Um, let's just take this, which will be new buyer revenue, and divide it by uh, all revenues and see what happens as a percent from new. All right, well, that kind of worked. So now we can see here, we're looking at the, uh, the relative proportion of new buyers to overall buyer revenue. And uh, yeah, 92 divided by 1198 is around 7%. Uh, so there you go. That's a different twist on using a case statement by embedding it in a sum. Kind of weird, super useful, definitely makes you look smart. Try this pattern out. We'll see it again. Thank you.